distance. The Two Eagles team is expected to land tomorrow. Both previous records were set by a legendary Albuquerque pilot decades ago. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton talked with Ben Abruzzo's son to talk about the records and the legacy he left behind. Yeah, that's my father. Louis Abruzzo enjoys a walk down memory lane. The footage from back then, the landing, uh, hearing his voice and talk, yeah, I mean, it, it takes you back. These old photos have new meaning after the two Eagles balloon lifted off to break world records set by Abruzzo's father, Ben, more than three decades ago. But Lewis says that's not what his dad originally set out to do. Theirs was an adventure to be the first to cross uh, the two oceans, and the, the records kind of came. Just came with the territory. In 1978, Ben Abruzzo and his fellow pilots were the first to cross the Atlantic Ocean in a helium balloon going from Canada to France in 137 hours. That set the record for the longest flight. They were invited to King's Palace over there and the White House, and a congressional coin was struck, and there, there was just this huge aftermath. Uh, that no one had really conceived. In 1981, Ben wanted to cross the Pacific. A nasty storm hit on the way into California, leading to a rough landing. <laughs> just ask KOAT chief meteorologist Joe Diaz, who jumped out of a helicopter just to score the first interview with the crew. This flight gave Ben Abruzzo the distance record. Lewis has them in his office. Great. Memories of a storied career that ended abruptly when his dad died in a plane accident 30 years ago. But if he were around today, I think he, you know, 35 years later would be going, wow, it's about time. And happy landings to two eagles. In Albuquerque, Matt Howerton, KUAT, Matt Howerton, KUAT, Action 7 News. Troy Bradley, the pilot on board, actually flew with Lewis's brother Richard several times. The world records are an exciting development.